They have been both boons and banes to sailors throughout the ages. It means um, through the time. Boons and banes. What's a boon? Boon is something that um, makes your life better and easier. Is a boon. Banes is the opposite meaning. Banes is something that makes you frequently feel unhappy and annoyed. All right. So they can be both helpful and um, annoying. They give shelter from the forces of the treacherous ocean so long as a ship can find, as long as a ship can find a passageway through them. They can give shelter. Shelter is a covered place, all right, where you can um, be protected from the bad weather or danger. Treacherous means betraying. Be trained, right? And it, it, in this case, it means dangerous or unpredictable. Otherwise, um, a coral reef may be the instrument of a of a ship's destruction, ripping a ship apart, sinking it, and drowning its crew. Ripping. What does that mean? It means to um, tear forcefully. Drown means to um, make something go, make someone or an animal go underwater, under the surface of the water, and making it die because it can't breathe. Drowning its crew. What's a crew? Crew is the people working on a plane or a boat, okay? Or a spaceship. So, what is this part about? This part is about um, how they, how the coral reefs are formed, in in what uh, shape. Okay. Some circle an island or atoll, and others, like the Great Barrier Reef, form con long, continuous, continuous lines away from the uh, out in the ocean far from land, and some are attached to shores and fringe the coastline, okay? They have been both helpful and harmful to sailors. They can provide shelter, but in other cases, they destro destroy the ships, okay? Coral reefs um, attract Attract means make something come to you, right? Large numbers of tourists who come to look at the kaleidoscope of life, the colorfulness of life that is attracted to the reef. So, kaleidoscope of life would be the animals or plants living um, near the reef, right? Observe means to look at something carefully to learn from it, all right? Kaleidoscope, what does that mean? It's basically a toy. It's like a tube and it has a small hole. When you look into the hole and when you will turn the tube, um, the patterns of colors change, all right? So kaleidoscope means um, having a lot of color, kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope of life, so that means very different, in, di in very different colors. Some, uh, like in Hanama Bay in Hawaii, there are a whole lot of visitors each year. Witness means um, see something happening. If a place witnesses something, that means it happens to that place. H hordes of visitors. What's a horde? Horde is a crowd which is large and excited, all right? And they are um, rather frightening and unpleasant. Okay, hordes of visitors. This is a, like a negative meaning. Thousands of species of fish mollusks, 
crustaceans, and larger creatures are found and around are found in and around coral reefs. Mollusk, what is this? Mollusk is a soft uh, the animals which have soft bodies like snails, clams, and octopuses, right? And they, some of them have hard shells to protect them, like a snail and a clam. Crustaceans, they are these animals with, with hard um, shells and several pairs of legs like crabs, lobsters, and shrimps, okay? What does crust mean? Crust means a hard layer, <coughs> especially the one that is um, over a softer and wetter substance. Unluckily, human intruders often um, disturb the ecosystem there, taking chunks of coral with them for their aquariums or to make jewelry with. Human intruders. What does intrude mean? Intrude means to go into a place where you're not supposed to. Okay? Disrupt means to stop something from working normally. Chunks of coral. What's a chunk? Chunk is a thick, solid um, piece of something. All right. Aquarium is a glass tank filled with water and you keep fish in there. Moreover, a sport fisherman. Sport fisherman means the people who fish for sport can change the balance of life on the reefs by <coughs> fishing too much of them. So this part is about what? Um, the coral reefs attracting large numbers of tourists, okay? And those tourists um, disrupting the ecosystem. This is, this is what, that is what this part is about. Coral reefs attract large, no, large numbers of tourists who come to see the colorfulness of life that is near the reef, okay? And in Hanoma Bay in uh, Hawaii, there's a lot of visitors every year and a lot of fish, mollusks, crustaceans and larger creatures are found there, all right? But humans often um, disrupt the ecosystem, taking a lot of coral with them for their aquariums. They put the coral in their aquariums for um, decoration, right? And making jewelry with it. And sport fishermen can... they fish too much. Um, The, the lives that, that is on the reefs. Do you understand? Okay. Do you know where Hawaii is? Let's see what, where Hawaii is. This is the United States, right? This is where Hawaii is. In the middle of the um, Pacific Ocean. The Hawaiian Islands in this uh, island right here there is the Honolulu and this Hanoma Bay is here you understand? get that? but By great difference, okay, the greatest danger to the continued existence 
the greatest danger to uh, the coral reefs continually continuously existing is environmental factors. <coughs> Polluted water is the number one problem, the most important. When water becomes over over polluted, over means too much, too much polluted from human sewage, garbage, or chemical waste, algae grow in enormous quantities. What is sewage? Sewage is the waste matter like feci, uh, feces all right, or dirty water from homes and factories and they flow away through uh, sewers you know what I'm saying? sewage what is feces? feces is the solid waste matter from your body They um, are too much in quantity for the um, sensitive coral to deal with, which um, make, make the zooxanthales, zooxanthales leave, okay? which forces them to leave. Overwhelm means uh, there is, it is too much for something to handle. All right? Expel means to make something leave by force. Since, because they are what give the color, uh, because they are what give the coral their uh, different colors, the coral then become white in a process called coral bleaching. What is they here? They, it's zooxanthellae, right? Zooxanthellae are what give the coral their various colors. Um, once bleached, what does bleach mean? Bleach means to make something white using a chemical, um, using a chemical, right? One, once bleached, that means after it is bleached, coral take time to recover. If the water conditions return to their state before, the zooxanthellae return. But often the bleached coral die and the entire reefs may be even destroyed in that case. So what is this part about? This part is about um, the greatest danger for the existence of coral reefs, all right, which is environmental factors. Polluted water is the number one problem. The water becomes polluted by human sewage, garbage, chemical waste, and al chemical waste, right? Then algae grow in a large quantity. They are too much for the coral, sensitive coral, and they uh, make the zooxanthellae leave. And zooxanthellae are what give coral their colors. So when they leave, the coral become white. And this process is called coral bleaching. When it's bleached, right, after uh, um, the coral takes take time to re recover. And if the water conditions return um, like before, as before, the zooxanthellae return, but the bleached coral die often, okay? And the entire reefs may be destroyed in that case. 